Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to create an installer using iExpress for a WUV audio player they just completed. However, they hit a snag with an error message stating, unable to open the report file sees users paletto desktop swap.rpt. Let's dive into this problem and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your questions, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To address the error message you're encountering with iExpress, let's first understand what it means. The error, unable to open the report file, indicates that iExpress cannot access the specified report file. The first step to troubleshoot this issue is to check the file path. Ensure that the path C users paletto desktop suave.rpt is correct and that the file exists in that location. If the file does exist, the next step is to check the file permissions. Right click on the report file, select properties, and ensure that your user account has the necessary permissions to read the file. Another common issue could be that the file is currently open or locked by another process. Make sure that no other applications are using the report file while you are trying to create the installer. Finally, if none of these steps resolve the issue, consider running iExpress as an administrator. Right-click on the iExpress executable and select Run as Administrator to see if that helps. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user encountered an issue with the report file due to a file name being duplicated. They resolved it by removing sections one at a time until the build passed, which helped identify the problem. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of not being able to open the report file in iExpress, try running it as an administrator. However, there's a catch. If the file path contains spaces and is located on a non-C drive, you might still encounter errors. Paths without spaces work fine, like D, some folder with space, dash, file, dot, set. iExpress has great features like extracting to a temporary folder and generating editable C files, but this bug can be frustrating. Remember, running as an administrator is important, but the lack of error codes when failing to create an archive can be a downside. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To open the report file in iExpress, make sure to run it with administrator rights. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one.
Cheers. Cheers.